Hey guys, it's Nazibux here and welcome to another uh, video where today we're going to be talking about um, Microsoft purchasing uh, Activision Blizzard and what that means for uh, World of Warcraft. Um, does it is it bad? Is it good? We're going to just talk about the things I think point to a um, the future of the game and how it's going to how it's going to fare uh, under these new executives and owners. Um, to begin, I have been playing World of Warcraft since Cataclysm, and uh, I started playing when I was like five years old. I'm 18 now, or I was I was five or eight years, eight years old when I started. I can't remember how how long ago Cataclysm was. It was a while ago, but I've been playing this game for a while. I'm mostly a solo slash casual player who just enjoys playing the game for what it is, and uh, the player base is um, semi enjoyable when I play. Um, I have been playing Xbox since I was like four or three. Um, very long time ago, 15 years ago at least, I've been playing Xbox games and um, I, I eventually moved over to PC, but I still touch console here and there and I really enjoy Xbox as a company or um, Microsoft as a company. Um, but I, what I really want to talk about though is um, WoW has had a lot of issues. Um, obviously, it's had the California allegate or the uh, allegations from California over sexual assault and suicide it's also dealt with the uh you know the egregious microtransaction issues that they're having um you know trying to make all the money they can for the executives for their bonus checks at the end of the uh, at the end of the quarters at the end of the year world of warcraft's gameplay is suffering as well due to microtransactions and needing that up player time because the game has less players and if you want that player time you're gonna have to create some grindy content that is not nearly as fun as it was 10 years ago when uh, content was less grindy and more uh, and more gameplay based uh, more uh, enjoyable for the average consumer some of the things I wanted to cover that uh, point to a really good um, I, th I think this being a good move for WoW and a good, uh, a bright future for a while is um, Sea of Thieves is a game that Microsoft owns, obviously from Rare. Um, Microsoft has obviously their Game Pass and their PC Gaming Pass as well. And this is, I mean, re it's related to the metaverse, obviously, and uh, Xbox has some uh, eyes for the metaverse, but the point of view I've always seen from Xbox is to foster a new era of gaming and a healthy community surrounding each of their games and that uh, that ultimately is the way you keep a game alive in the long term and and World of Warcraft is losing that over time and I think the exact opposite is what is going to I think that they're going to fix World of Warcraft's issue and I think that the big thing is microtransactions obviously it's you know when you have these corporate overlords you're gonna ruin the um the goal of the game which is to uh you know to entertain consumers and it's become more of a cash grab uh sort of situation see if these microtransactions is one indicator i think uh and same even Minecraft dungeons Minecraft dungeons doesn't have nearly as many transactions as uh sea of thieves but sea of thieves in particular has microtransactions and it's a very um it's different from from World of Warcraft in the sense that you can't buy boost, um, which obviously are going to stay in the game, but they have a, a lot of cosmetic upgrades, pets. Um, you could almost like compare this to mounts in World of Warcraft, but each of these items are uh, are equal or worse or maybe slightly better depending on what you your thoughts than the armor you can earn in Sea of Thieves and the weapons you can earn in Sea of Thieves. In World of Warcraft, the microtransactions have caused the issue of all of our gear and weaponry and things that uh, matter to us have now become worse uh, as, earnable, as earnable content, comparatively speaking to the microtransaction content, which is worked on a lot more and made to look a lot better and uh because you know it's for money obviously minecraft dungeons is also another example that they're not in it for the money sea of thieves and minecraft dungeons are not are not like 
giant games. We know, you know, but they're spending crap tons of money on these games to keep them uh, on their gameplay to keep their player base happy. And when you look at World of Warcraft, the gameplay has suffered tremendously because of the grindy content they have had to create to keep that player time up. And it's causing players to leave. It's causing new players to quit because they're like, I can't do this. I can't spend hundreds of hours of my time trying to get that extra little socket in my armor so that I can I can go do the raid with the group because no one wants to bring in a guy who has doesn't have the right gear because no one wants to carry that. Microsoft spending $70 billion is another example of just that they are okay with losing money. It's they're in it for the growth. Epic, just like Epic Games, Epic Games has been spending millions of dollars and losing, they lost like $200 million, I think, on increasing the Epic Games library and like making tons of games free for everyone. And that's not free for Epic Games. They're spending that money so that their consumers can have free games to increase their growth. Microsoft's Microsoft's goal is to foster a healthy game that will last longer and you can see that in Minecraft you can see that in all of their games that they've ever made that are a lot of the games Halo in particular another game is a great game the or it's another game that you can look at their goal is gameplay Halo has had amazing gameplay for like as long as I can remember and it's because Xbox is not in it for the money they're in it for the gameplay and I think World of Warcraft is going to finally get the treatment it needs. Finally elevate their gameplay again, like they used to in ICC, in Burning Crusade, Cataclysm. I mean, I would even throw a Pandaria in there. And the focus is not gonna be on money as much as it is for the gameplay. And I think that that's going to change the uh, player base's attitude massively. I think that the game is going to see a lot of new players because of the changes that are coming this way. Um, that's what I foresee. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Let me know your thoughts as well in the comments. Maybe you have a, maybe you disagree with me. Um, maybe you have other examples or thoughts about what I said that, um, or discussion that you want to have. I'm totally down for anything if you want to talk about it. But yeah, those are my thoughts. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Sunnyblock signing out. Peace out, guys.